and we want to say that ODM cannot and shall never be intimidated. We are a party that stands for justice, democracy, and a party that has fought for uh, against the ills uh, committed towards Kenyans for many years. So we will continue to uphold those values and we will be not be intimidated by anyone, either within Azimio coalition or even outside Azimio coalition. On the matter of Azimio coalition, I want to state categorically that ODM does not have a coalition agreement with the Kenya Kwanza or UDA. If those who are telling us that we are in government care, I want to advise them to read the Political Parties Act, which is very clear that parties can only get into a coalition arrangement if they sign a coalition agreement and have it filed with the registrar of political parties. If you care, members of the media, I want to request you to visit the office of the registrar of political parties and find out whether there is any coalition agreement between ODM and Kenya Kwanzaa. There is none. So when they tell us that we have joined government, on what basis are they saying that? Is there any coalition agreement? There is none. So we think that these people are just uh, playing drama and the ODM is such a serious party which is not ready for drama. We are a party that has huge representation across the country and we cannot be intimidated. Azimio, ODM is a principal partner in Azimio coalition. We cannot be lectured by some of our junior partners in the part, in the coalition that we leave coalition in fact some of the partners in the coalition we are even questioning their status in the coalition jubilee party for example when honorable kioni talks about jubilee which jubilee is he talking about we know we have two factions in jubilee we have the sabina cheges jubilee and we have uh, kioni's one man jubilee <laughs> you cannot intimidate a big party like ODM. I think, Mr. Kioni, uh, we want to advise you to read the law and to visit the office of the Registrar of Political Parties. And I want also to caution them that uh, any attempt to push ODM out of Azimio will be very detrimental to those people are pushing that arrangement because ODM will still remain a single major party in the opposition based on the numbers that we have in the National Assembly and in the Senate and that cannot change and in fact I'm also inviting them to read the standing orders of uh, National Assembly and the Senate and they will discover that it may be only wiper is the only parliamentary party in the National Assembly. But the rest have no status. They gain their status based on the numbers of ODM. So, Honorable Wamalua Eugene, shut up. <laughs> shut up. In fact, some of your members have already declared support for ODM in the House, and we are considering to put them in committees. So, I am speaking as a deputy party leader of ODM, and we are saying ODM cannot be intimidated. Mm. It intimidated just because we have allowed a few of our members to join government. And in any case, these members had to resign from their positions before joining government. Thank you. Those of us who watch football, you know very well, one team can loan its members to play for another team. Mm -hmm. And when they loan their members, those other members cannot come back and play for this other team. In fact, they can play against their, their parent team. So this is common. We are not going to be intimidated as a, as a party, as a big party within the opposition. ODM is the lead party in the opposition, and we are going to remain so, and we are going to point out ills of this government, regardless of the fact that a few of our members are in government. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I just want to debunk the lie by Honorable Kioni that Mweshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga 
actually did not say the truth when he said that he'd spoken to the former president of this country. I would like to say that the former president, President Uhuru Kenyatta, is a statesman and he can speak to Raila anytime he wants. I want to ask Yoni, is he telling us that he is in a position to tap telephone calls of every person in this country? Mweshimiwa Raila does not need to lie that he spoke to Uru Kenyatta to cleanse himself as purported by Kioni. Cleanse himself from what? All Mweshimiwa Raila did was allowed his four members of his party to actually serve in the government at a time when Kenya really needed to show that there was unity in this country and Kenya really needed to show that we were moving together. What therefore does he need to lie and cleanse himself from? Mweshimiwa Raila does not need to lie and to tell anybody that he spoke to Uru Kenyatta. Uru Kenyatta is a former president and just a citizen of this country. How would he help Raila cleanse himself? How? Thank you. Very well. Thank you very much.